Fox 10 Outdoors with Jason Smith. Hi, I'm Chief Meteorologist Jason Smith here with Fox 10 News for your YouTube special clip on how to clean a redfish. This is a perfect redfish to keep and eat. This is a 20 inch slot redfish and really, you know, if they're a little shorter than this, you don't get much meat. If they're a little bigger, they're too difficult to clean. So this one's just about perfect. It should be excellent eating as well. And uh, what I'm going to do today is just show you how to fillet it with a standard fillet knife. And this is actually a custom knife that a viewer gave me a long time ago back up in Citronelle. And uh, I'm going to take this, this fish here and just show you how to fillet them. What I like to do to get the first side of the fillet off is to start up here around the head and actually have the belly facing away from me. Redfish are a little tough, so I'm going to put a little pressure on the knife. And if a good sharp knife, it just slides right down and I take it the blade and cut all the way down to the backbone and I stop at the backbone. All right. Once you stop at the backbone, you will feel it. The backbone is right here in the center of the fish. Then I turn the blade at an angle and I don't want it to be, hope the blood doesn't gross you out too much. I don't want the blade to be totally parallel to the fish, but I don't want it to be perpendicular to the fish either. I want it to be slightly less than parallel to the fish so that I can feel my way down the backbone. And with a redfish this size, and a sharp knife, you can go right down along the rib cage without any trouble. If they're any bigger than this, then it gets harder. But right now, I'm just feeling along that backbone and, and cutting. I've cut through the rib cage. Now I'm at the easier part of the fish, and I take it all the way out to the tail, just like that. Okay, this is your fillet right here, and it's still attached to the skin. Now I've left the skin attached to the tail, and that's going to be important into helping me be able to get leverage on getting the meat off the skin. Now I take the blade at the same angle that I did to cut down the backbone and I'm going to take it and do it a little less than par parallel to the uh, actual skin and I'm going to just come down along with the knife and separate the fillet from the actual skin of the fish. So what I'm doing is I'm just kind of working my way down and voila there's the fillet right there. So this is what we're going to be eating. Now there's a problem with this. This particular fillet here has a rib cage in it. And so what I like to do is cut out that rib cage because it's got a lot of bones in it and then it's not. Now we've got a piece of meat that's almost completely free of bones. You just have to be careful right up here near where that rib cage was and kind of feel along and make sure there are not any bones hidden in there. And sometimes there'll be a couple of little bones right in here along this backbone line here so I'll cut out a little notch in the fillet there. So that's one real good fillet right there. All I have to do is rinse it off and put it in a Ziploc bag. I, just for neatness I like to go ahead and remove the skin from the side of the fish that I just cut the fillet on before I flip the fish over and start on the opposite side. I do the same thing on this side that I do on the other side. I just take it with some pressure and cut down to the backbone. Then I turn the blade at an angle a little less than parallel to the fish and cut down and I kind of bring the, the blade back and forth as I come along so that I'm able to cut through the rib cage and then down along the uh, backbone of the fish right like this and I just cut right on along at that angle until I make it out to the tail just like I did on the front side and then stop and then I flip it over in this case the tail actually did uh, the skin did actually separate from the tail. It'll make it a little trickier, but no problem. I can just come along this uh, backbone by keeping some pressure right here on the actual skin. And I'm just gonna work my way along with a, uh, with a sharp knife and come along and cut the fillet off the skin. And there it is. And then I remove the backbone, just like that. And I've got two nice redfish fillets. All I gotta do is rinse them off and I'm pretty much set to go. I'm feeling along here, making sure there's no, there are no bones because I'm going to cook these fish here shortly and I don't want to have any bones when I'm eating my fish. And, uh, and voila, I've got two nice redfish fillets there. So that's the traditional way of filleting a redfish. A lot of people catch fish and they get them home and they don't know how to clean them. Just about any species of fish, speckled trout, bass can be cleaned this way. It's a very effective way to clean a fish with a traditional fillet knife. Thanks for joining us here on YouTube for Fox 10 Outdoors. I'm Chief Meteorologist Jason Smith.